Hello and welcome back to Canada Top to Bottom. Let's get straight into today's big news. The first all program express entry draw since December 2020 happened on Wednesday, which is huge. The draw included candidates from all three express entry programs, Federal Skilled Worker, Federal Skilled Trade and Canadian Experience Class, which means that regardless of which category you fall into, you had a chance of getting invited to apply for permanent residence. In today's video, we're going to talk you through the results of the draw, what the cutoff score was, what this means in real terms, what you can expect from future draws, and some next steps if you're looking to immigrate to Canada. First things first, what were the results of this highly anticipated draw? In the July 6th Express Entry draw, 1,500 candidates were selected and offered an invitation to apply, and the Comprehensive Ranking System, or CRS score cutoff, was a whopping 557 points. There are so many things to talk about with the return of the Express Entry draw, it's hard to know where to start. The pandemic had such a huge impact on Canadian immigration that it feels like a pretty huge moment, signifying that things are finally starting to return to normal. Let's start with the cutoff score, which without a doubt is incredibly high. But it shouldn't really come as a great shock following our video on Wednesday where we told you that there are over 220,000 candidates currently with a profile in the express entry pool and over 8,000 of them have a CRS score of more than 500 points. Understandably, there has been a huge buildup of eligible candidates in the express entry pool over the last 18 months as people have continued to submit profiles and enter the pool but with no draws, no one has left. In 2019 and 20, a good CRS score was in the 460 to 480 mark, but this has completely changed, and you'll now need to be setting your sights a lot higher to be in with a shot. There's a link in the description box below where you can check out the latest round of invitations and also look at previous rounds and compare the cutoff scores. Another burning question on everyone's lips will be how long will the cutoff score stay this high? This is, of course, impossible to accurately predict because it's based on a lot of different factors. If the IRCC were selecting 5,000 people in each draw, then we could expect the cutoff score to drop rapidly with each round as the strongest candidates leave the pool. But if they continue to only draw 1,500 people each time, we can expect the score to remain well over 500 for many months to come. So why were there so few candidates drawn? Pre-COVID, around 3,000 candidates were invited in every draw, and it was just a guess as to how many the IRCC would invite in this first draw after the long break. As it turned out, only inviting 1,500 candidates seems to suggest that they are keeping numbers low in a gradual return to all programme draws to try and fulfil their promise of a six-month processing time. Prior to Wednesday's draw, the IRCC confirmed that they will be inviting thousands of candidates each draw, but they didn't specify how many thousands. So this will be a huge factor in whether the CRS cutoff score remains high. Selecting very few candidates would appear to be quite a clever tactic in order for the IRCC to stick to their word of restarting draws and at the same time resuming the six month processing time. Another factor can, to consider is how many more people will be entering the express entry pool now that draws have resumed. Although there have still been a lot of people entering the express entry pool, there may equally have been a lot of people who've been put off creating an express entry profile during the pandemic and who may choose to consider that dream again now that things are returning to normal. Now, if there is an influx of new people entering the pool, it's another reason why the cutoff score might remain high. It's anybody's guess which direction the IRCC may choose to go from here. They have been operating like a secret service agency for the last few years, and we have been constantly surprised and often dismayed by the choices they have made. We, no doubt, along with thousands of other people, have spent the last two years constantly predicting and second guessing what the IRCC will do. And more often than not, we're wrong. Will they gradually resume draws by only inviting a small number of candidates each draw? And will the draws continue to happen every two weeks as they did previously? Or has the whole system been given a makeover? There is currently no information as to when the next draw will be after this one, so watch this space to find out more. If you have an express entry profile in the pool right now and didn't make the 557 cut, or if you are considering creating a profile, the best thing you can be doing is trying to increase your CRS score. 
check out our video on how to do just that, link above, and in the coming weeks and months, we will be keeping you all updated on what is happening with the draws and how you can improve your chances of being selected. Of course, everyone's background and qualifications are individual, but to give you an idea of what a CRS total of more than 550 points could look like, here's an example. A single applicant aged 26 who has a three-year bachelor's degree with no Canadian work or study experience, who got the highest levels in the IELTS English test and an average language level in the TCF French test, who has three years or more of foreign work experience and a valid Canadian job offer in a NOC skill level 0 A or B position with no relatives in Canada and no nomination from a province will have a CRS total of 554 points. Use the link in the description box below to calculate your own CRS score and let us know how many points you think you may have. We've also included a link to an explanation of the Express Entry System and the programs included. We are always looking for new ways to help people move to Canada, so hit subscribe before you go, and we'll see you next time.